plenty of towns claim. Oh, They're family friendly. Claim a spot early enough <laughs> along Pella's tulip time parade route, and you'll witness <laughs> moms and their boys. Are you being shy? Uh -huh. Proving it's different under their Dutch windmills. It really brings the community together. <laughs> it's like one big family. A celebration built not on the bulbs or the bakery goodies. You know, the poverty, the Dutch letters. But the bonds that lure generations to the same curb every year. Ruth Bushnell and her girls are always here. And then we got a son that's uh, serving in Germany. But when duty called, Ruth's boy answered. You know, it, that's always hard because he was always part of Tulip Time too and miss him. She also had no idea. Welcome home. <laughs> Thank you. That just two blocks down the street, Sergeant Bushnell. I've been very nervous and very excited all day. Was home from Germany with his wife and 10-month-old daughter. So now she gets to wear the little Dutch costumes. <laughs> Ready to hide in the parade on the American Legion float, headed straight for his mom's spot. And after that, it's, it's going to be waterworks for my mom. She'll be very happy, though. <laughs> Live in Pella long enough, and you think you know the entries. Yeah, there's some floats. There's some floats that are the same every year. You know, it's a tradition. You ready for this? <laughs> like where Pella's military boys march. Yeah, I hope our son can do that next year. Good in on that float. She had no idea. Oh, what? <laughs> Bushnell turned 60 Friday. Surprise! <laughs> Her boy knew a simple birthday call from Germany wouldn't cut it. <laughs> so he packed up his young family <laughs> and flew 4,000 miles. How did you pull this one on? With a lot of help. You nailed it. <laughs> For an eight block ride around Pella's Square. His folks weren't expecting Brian until next month. For most of the parade, Aww. Ruth barely noticed she'd actually been pulled into it. I can't believe it. She was too busy hugging her boy. You'll be all right, I'm here. He's so, I can't believe it. Who had really come all the way home for her. Oh, I love him. Sergeant Bushnell and his family will be home for a full month, so he'll be able to celebrate his mom again this Sunday for Mother's Day. Eric Hansen, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. Every time classes change at West Des Moines Valley, hallways become bumper to bumper. Hi, Calvin. In a sea of teenagers more crowded than most Iowa towns. Hi, Pag. How are you? It'd be easy to feel nameless. Hi, Jack. If it wasn't for a senior named Corey. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Emily. Hi, Carlo. How are you? Have a good day. 2,000 kids go to school here. What happened to your arm? I broke my wrist. How are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Have a good day, Carlo. But this one never forgets the name. Is truly. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning. How are you? Good. Have a good day. Special. They're so man. Hi, Katie. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. He makes my day whenever I see him and he says hi to me. I'm going to be late. When Corey Schneider Have your day. started kindergarten, his mom, Dawn, admits <laughs> she was nervous. It's scary because there's no way to protect them when they're not with you. But that fear disappeared a decade ago. The best part of my senior year is seeing all my friends. When his class of 600 embraced him. And Corey started spreading joy Thanks, so. to every person he meets, even classmates with such profound family. special needs. Mom, can we go to the moon? Ask Slam. They can't speak. Grab the, the next one, Saul. So. Corey mentors kids who have trouble putting together puzzles. He's holding my hand. And shares that same love with those who ace the ACT. I'm Mrs. Hansen. Good morning, Corey. It doesn't matter. It's just the way Corey's wired. Hi, JJ. Which is why it should be no surprise whose name was called last fall at homecoming. <laughs> Valley fans roar for touchdowns. For Corey, 
their king. The crowd just went crazy. It was awesome. I just got flashbacks of every hard thing that we had ever endured with him as a little boy. When kids are born with special needs, the moms and dads who name them have no idea what lies ahead. It was beyond anything I could have dreamed. And college isn't even on their radar. Congratulations on being accepted to Brother Corey. Next fall, oh, why? <laughs> the incoming freshman at Bethel and St. Paul better be ready. Hi, Katie, how are you? Because a joy filled Rolodex is on the way to campus. Hi, Brendan. Hi, Corey. Hey, how are you? I don't know how are you. Yeah, happy day. And his name is Corey. He's awesome. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good, how are you? Happy day. Corey is such a joy. He was assigned a one on one associate in second grade, and they've been together ever since. And now that he's graduating, she is retiring because Corey is truly one of a kind. Eric Hansen, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. Pick an Iowa gravel road in June, and you'll probably find a blackbird, a big metal mailbox, and a farmer. Things are looking pretty well. Waiting to see how summer treats his fields. We're off to a good start. But outside Charles City, the runaway over by the tractor's a clue. Mark Cuban's prize crop isn't his corn or soybeans. As a child, I started to get interested in tennis. Back then, it took shortwave radio to bring Wimbledon to Iowa. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, for a 10-year-old farm boy, it's a long ways to, across the pond, as they speak. But that day, Mark knew someday he wanted the real thing. This was where we fed the cattle. A full-size replica of the All England Lawn Tennis Club on his Iowa farm. Oh. Five decades later, Mark's vision is so accurate. I've been to Wimbledon to see it, but that's how it looks. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Tennis players come from all over the country to play in his front yard on the court. There's irrigation built throughout it. That really is alive. You see, just like Wimbledon, this court is grass. It's very much like a golf green. We mow it with a, a greens mower. Which takes an hour of manicuring every morning and has the power to make grown men giddy. This is the best day off I've had in a while right here. Most of them have never played or even seen a grass court. Let alone one that features the Union Jack, a lot of purple and green. Yeah, it bounces lower for sure. And serves that just seem to fall. Making the visitors who come here and play for free. Oh yeah, just like Wimbledon. Wonder why an Iowa farmer would dedicate most of the summer to tourists with reservations that don't cost a dime. It is my passion and it's a great time for me the way it works out because the corn is laid by now, the beans have been sprayed and uh, I'm just ready to host people on my grass tennis court. Unless they want to play during the tournament because Mark doesn't just have a ticket over there, he has a job. I'll be a volunteer court attendant uh, during the fortnight uh, at Wimbledon. In fact, the Wimbledon folks love what he's done here so much, they've come for a visit. They're a great bunch of blokes, those guys are. Sharing tips to make this grass court on gravel even more authentic for tennis dreamers. I knew it'd be neat, but I had no idea. This is really cool. Who want to play in the corn. Oh, there's a good shot. And after Mark gets back from Wimbledon, he'll open the All Iowa Lawn Tennis Club again. But you need a reservation, and we have the link on our mobile app and on my Facebook page. Eric Hansen, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. The soundtrack of most tiny towns is pretty quiet. Murray has 755 people who liked it that way. And one? who decided this bump in the road needed a spot on the dial. You're listening to KSOI 91.9. So their stars could shine. It's going to be a windy, messy day. Like the 97-year-old. I'm Grandma Perry with the National Weather Service forecast for Tuesday, January Who will take on 24th. any big city Not meteorologist. And no, they tell me I'm better than most uh, weather people. But Grandma Perry's hourly forecast is just the start. Hi, old Doc Kimball here. Southern Kimball Iowa's most trusted physician Murray, dispenses Iowa. daily advice. When you get home, why make sure you hug your wife and pet the dog and have a great day. And then there are the kids I pledge allegiance to the flag. who start Victoria. every broadcast Today's day with the pledge and the menu. Lunch today is shredded turkey. Exactly what Joe Heineck ordered 
You know, you could only pick up about two stations. When he heard in 06, a few FM frequencies were open. Six years and $300,000 later, Clark County had its tower. This is KSOI Murray. And then we got our CD player hooked up to it and played a song and, and that was it. I did, I was like, oh my God, everyone's gonna hear me. Like not only in Murray, but like in other towns too. Serving Mount Air and surrounding areas. Shockingly, she was right. And you can almost tell we're all listening to the same thing because we're kind of bouncing to the same music. Young lady behind the counter said to me, are you that guy on the radio station? They get noticed, which is new for a nearly 100 year old. I go places and people tell me, I heard you on the radio today. I'm thrilled at it. Because then I know that they're listening. Which is exactly why they're on the air. The life we live in these small towns is a rich life, yep. and we don't want to lose it. So using their iPads broadcasting from their classrooms and living rooms, they share it. It's uh, kind of difficult out on the gravel roads lately. I know Knowing small towns struggle. To reach out and bring that community together is getting more and more difficult all the time. But convinced their soundtrack can be built on community pride. This is Old Doc Kimball, KSOI 91.9. Except for the gal who pays the bills, everyone else is a volunteer, from the play-by-play -play guy to DJs like famous Paul and Uncle Billy. Eric Hansen, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. 51 weeks a year, Pleasantville lives up to its name. But the Monday before Memorial Day, trouble pulls up to the square at 8.30 sharp. Girls dressed as Elroy from the Jetsons. I have no idea what's going to happen. And the boys? Hey, it's provocative. This year, they're Judy. <laughs> Pretty hot, Joe. Don't move. That's what the people want. High school graduation was yesterday. We're going to do roll call. <laughs> Before they're called alumni. Most address each alumni member as most honorable alumni. Graduates have to show up in costume. I was painting his fingernails while he was eating breakfast. <laughs> with a bucket of bricks, bubble gum, and baby food. Apple cherry and green bean. That they're gonna need this week. You'll be happy you did this in a few years. Right now it doesn't seem so funny, but it will be. They know because they did it too. My dad is from here and then both my sisters have. Well, I'm a fourth generation alumni uh -huh. in my family, so I've just kind of been expected to do it, kind of. No one has to do this. Yeah. My dad, my grandpa, and my sister have all done alumni. But if you graduate from Pleasantville, <laughs> you get to play leapfrog around the square. Spend one more week acting like second graders. Are the boys dressed up as gold? That's funny. Oh, I'm for Pleasantville. And walk backwards through doors. Can we get some coffee while we're Just like alumni have done here for 115 straight years. It's been going on forever. And we had to wear a nightgown. Most honorable alumni, will you sign my paddles? We were a little smart, Alex, when we graduated. The paddles signed by alums aren't used for paddling anymore. Most honorable alumni, will you please sign my paddles? I love it. But the initiation's pretty much the same. All is well here at People's Bank. It is 1019 and it is 77 degrees. From directing Main Street traffic with a plunger, Get in between the fur on the mane. <laughs> to cleaning the park's lion with toothbrushes. But why, if it's voluntary, would anyone sign up for five straight days of Main Street humiliation? You're such a lady. <laughs> Last week with my class. They are graduating. A lot of them went to daycare. I was in diapers with some of them. And as much as they want to put high school behind them, they know. Because it's tradition. This is it. You know, make some last memories that we might never see some of these people again. <laughs> The half of Pleasantville senior class who signed up for initiation week will be back every morning through Friday to clean the town fire truck, roll tires around town, and read to senior citizens, just like alums have done since 1901. Eric Hansen, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Courthouses are built for conflict, which is why judges can't wait for the Saturday in November. Their chambers burst with balloons and bears. It's rare to have a decision where everybody wins. This adoption day, a record 70 kids got a forever family. Only Mike and Valerie surprised their whole family here for Harper's Big Day. Me too. We're adopting Bryson today also.
both foster kids are going to be theirs. They've been with us now for a while. We love them. They're ours. But there's the reality of it that sets in on a day like today. Both of the munchkins are present. Sure, this is a legal hearing. We're so blessed to have them and join in our family. But here, it's okay if chairs spin and a judge sports both a costume. But I, I have to make it official. And another surprise. Let's get a couple of these. Those toys perched right in front of the kids all morning long were made especially for them. By hand, in the wood shop of a guy who's seen up close the importance of adoption. All right, so now the toy has been cut to its very general shape. Six years ago, Robert Blink needed a distraction. Because court cases get stressful. It takes a toll on the judge. So you need something that kind of refreshes your soul. So after making toys for all his grandkids, the judge started making them for his kids in court. And then they're hand sanded at the end and finished with beeswax. The last few weeks, he spent 24 hours building 50 toys and dreaming. I want to hear those loud wooden wheels going on that on that council's table are banging into something. So minutes after that new grandma gushed in court. We're so blessed. The judge who posed for pictures. She's making funny faces, isn't she? Couldn't wait to see his car get that thick coat of drool. He would take the time to, to make all those cars for every single kid that comes through here today. It's just, that's amazing. But ask the judge and he'll overrule that new dad. It pales in comparison to what these parents are doing for these children. Because toys will trigger a smile, but an adoption? It's the greatest gift. There, there is no uh, greater gift. That creates a family. A lot to be thankful for. The 70 kids adopted Saturday also went home with handmade quilts from Iowans who just want them to know their families are loved. Eric Hansen, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.